wicked, mystical apostasy that's all around us, and we come into a relationship with God. That's what happened in my life as I cried out to God in September 1985. And I thank God that that is a real biblical experience based on objective fact that one led a perfect life, he died a perfect death on the cross, he substituted for sinners like me. And if you're willing to recognize that you're a sinner for people like you, he substituted so that we would know the righteousness of God in him. As Paul said wonderfully, we now being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Romans chapter 3 verse 24. And this is, the, I think, the note that we have to finish on. If you could say something about that, the true gospel, James, as we finish off this presentation that we make to warn people. Well, I like to liken the, pa the gospel is passing from death unto life, and I like to liken all of these techniques that are used in substitution of Jesus Christ to substitute for um, our sins, is that the very best that you can do is you have a, a dead tree that you've pruned and pruned and pruned, but after you get done with a life of pruning with all of these techniques, uh, all you have is a dead stump. In either case, they're both dead. What we need is the tree of life, which to, to completely get rid of the dead stump, uproot it completely, so that we have him who died on the tree for us. Uh, that's the tree that we need to be devoted to. And so the gospel still is simple, as Paul said. Don't, don't stray away from the simplicity, which is Christ Jesus. Do not be ashamed of the gospel yeah. of Christ, but it is the power of God unto salvation. And that's the answer to the Rick Warrens, and the Brian McLarens, and the Phyllis Tickles, and the... the uh, yeah, Yes, and the, 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 whole, the whole movement, the, the tidal wave of apostasy in this mystical trap, the false mysticism, the... the, the Biblical answer is a true gospel, and that we it's the power of God unto salvation, and we look to Him. We, as it says in Hebrews, look into Him, the author and finisher of our faith. We look unto Him, Christ Jesus, and He is faithful. And you know that power of God because it's objective and real. And you and there's no other name given among men whereby a man can be saved, so we don't have any other options. The, the Alpha and the Omega starts and ends with it Jesus Christ, Christ yes. our Lord. I think that is the note of which to finish. There's no other name. And we exalt that name and we, we trust that He alone will be glorified and that souls will be saved. It has been wonderful talking with you and if you would like to um, uh, email us or to see who we are and to contact us, our email addresses will be given and uh, web page is given so where you can uh, see more about what is the false mystical experience around us and that you would see more of the true gospel and may God be glorified to the praise and glory of his grace now and forevermore. Amen and amen. And amen. Praise God. Great being with you Richard. Thank you.